Would you rather fight, in real life, a massive gorilla or a massive crocodile? I'll take the crocodile in real life. I actually, I got on top of, a, of an alligator and held its jaws shut. It's about a 10 foot alligator, yes. I posted the picture on Instagram, it's crazy. I was a real idiot for doing that, but uh, <laughs> we were, I live down in the country in Florida. I would rather do that than fight a gorilla. You have no chance with a gorilla. You didn't do that for the movie, that was just in your real life. I went down to this particular place to do a little research on alligators since I live in the country and I live in the Everglades swamps near the Everglades swamps down in Florida. A lot of it took six of us to pull the alligator out of the water. And then I got on top of it and held its uh, jaws shut and pulled it back to calm it. Massive gorilla, how come? Maybe because you can reason with them. <laughs> I'm gonna go with crocodile, don't know why. You just stay on land and then the crocodile's kind of at a disadvantage-ish. I mean, I think I'd rather fight the massive gorilla. How comes? Because the crocodile's scarier for some reason. I mean, I think a gorilla could just rip my limbs apart, but I think a crocodile would do worse things. You know, have you seen like a death roll with a crocodile? That's creepy as hell. What's that? That's how crocodiles will kill you. Oh. They get you in the mouth and they do a death roll. And basically drown you and bury you underneath some stuff underwater and then they eat you at their leisure. At least you'll be dead when it happens. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, unless they muck that up. Would you rather fight 50 duck-sized Dwayne Johnsons or one Dwayne Johnson-sized duck? 50 duck size Dwayne Johnson's. <laughs> I think just take them out one by one. You know, one big one, I don't know if I can handle that. Fly swatter maybe? Yeah, maybe fly swatter. I mean, duck is a little bit bigger, so maybe, oh, that's terrible. I don't want to swat them out. <laughs> Poor Dwayne. But yeah, I guess it would be easier to kind of try to stomp on them. A tiny Dwayne Johnson would still be quite strong though, I think. He would be, yeah. Not strong enough. I mean, you can't see my muscles in this dress, but it's pretty scary. I'm going to go with the smaller size. I think I'd have more of a chance, but I don't think I'd have a chance at all because Dwayne Johnson works out for like literally two to three hours a day. And I mean every day. I really don't, so. I'm going to tell you something. I've got ducks on my farm and I've got two ducks that kind of run the place and they scare the crap out of my dogs. Like they're like, they're like the watch ducks. Um, they will chase animals around that are 10 times bigger than them. So I think I would be scared of the Dwayne Johnson duck. What are the duck's names? We Norman and uh, Russell Wilson. Would you rather be best mates with a massive gorilla or a massive crocodile? Best mates, I'm gonna go with the gorilla because he can give you nice hugs. You can't really hug a crocodile, can you? Massive gorilla, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think I just think they're, they're, you know, crocodiles are as, we've kind of come to know have no emotion whatsoever. A gorilla might be easier to communicate with. Well, I'm gonna go with, again, the gorilla. For one, you can kind of have some communication with it. This gorilla is very smart and, you know, it knows my favorite hand signals in the film. If you know me, you know what those favorite hand signals are. So uh, I could sit around all day just flipping off a gorilla and be the happy as hell. That's what I do with my best friend anyway. Would you rather have your own personal tiny Dwayne Johnson or a gigantic one? I think a gigantic one I would have more use for. That would be a great bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If anyone bothered me, it'd sick him on them. The real one is pretty gigantic. Though. Yeah, you don't really need to supersize him. <laughs> gigantic one, yeah, you want the life-sized version of him, no? Why are, you, why are you gonna go small? I mean, I suppose you can pack him in your suitcase, but then you could you could still travel with a life-sized one. And he, when you get tired, he could carry you from place to place. Definitely life-sized. Would you rather have the genetic enlarging experiment be done on yourself or your pet? Seeing that I don't have a pet, I would say my pet because <laughs> I don't want to get supersized. <laughs> Neither! Why does anybody need to be mutant sized? Oh my gosh, that's hideous. No. Um, I'm going to take myself because I'm going to leave my pet alone, even though I don't have a pet. But if I did, I wouldn't want that to happen to them. <laughs>